thanks for joining us for another one Fields Food Review. Today we are trying, I shouldn't have put that down. Today we are trying Oprah. That's right, the Oprah. Um, Winfrey for the layperson. She has a line of foods. I've always loved nutritious, flavorful foods. And since I believe everything's better when you share it, I've partnered with a team of creative chefs to bring you delicious comfort food. I don't quite get that. She thinks it's better when you share it, so she hired some chefs. <laughs> so she shared it with the chefs? I, I guess. Okay, whatever. <laughs> who, who am I to question Oprah? This is their brand spanking new pizza. Now the twist is that one third of this crust is made with cauliflower. It just looks like regular crust, but I guess that's because there's regular crust in there, huh? I know the song, it seems like a lot of her stuff has cauliflower. As yeah, we tried the, did we try the mashed potatoes? I know I tried the mashed potatoes. Yeah, and it has cauliflower in it. I happen to really like cauliflower stuff. I like cauliflower mashed potatoes. We have had a, a pure cauliflower crust and it was good. Um, we have not had a mixture. I'm guessing where someone might not like that. I don't know, I'm very curious to see what this tastes like. But it's also got uncured pepperoni, so it doesn't have all those preservatives and all that, all that stuff in there. And it looks like it just, it's a low moisture, and low moisture part skim mozzarella. I don't know what that means. If Oprah says it's good, damn it, I think I it you, you can rest assured it's good. I mean, it looks like it's pretty much just pepperoni, the flour mixture, and cheese. There's not a lot of weird stuff in there in the sauce, so I don't know, man. It's lunchtime here, and I'm hungry, so it's time to dig in. Anytime I have a frozen pizza, I have to put my hot sauce. Louisiana's the best one for that. Cholula's good, too, but we yeah. don't have any. We also have Fat Cat, a local company, bacon-flavored sriracha. Ladies first, take take your the best piece. No, what is it? No, I'm just kidding. I think that might be the best one. All right. It's got extra cheese on that. Okay. So here it is. Smell. Smells good. Mm. Immediately, it's pretty damn tasty, to be honest with you. Mmm. You know, if, if anything, it's a little more solid. It's it's more it's got tense. yeah, it's it's very thick the crust, and it's um, it's crunchy, but it's not like actually cooked up real nice. Pepperoni is very good. Yes, and the best part of any pepperoni is that, and mm -hmm. you know you got some good pepperoni when it crisps up on the edges and it makes life good for that moment. Sauce is good. Mmm. Sauce is very good. So it has a Totino's quality to it. I swear what? to God. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. But this is a lot heartier. Yeah, but I get there's a tang of something there is. slightly different in there, but it doesn't bother me because I, I like cauliflower. And the thing is, cauliflower can have a funky smell and a weird taste. I, I'm getting the tang you're talking about. There's still a hint. A hint, but it does not. it's not funky to me at all. If you told someone there's a regular pizza, they would not know. Yeah. They wouldn't it, notice the difference. It, it's almost like psychosomatic at that yeah. point. They're going to read that and just, they're going to find the weirdness mm -hmm. in there. I think it's really tasty. Yeah, the good. cheese is really good too. Mm -hmm. who, who, this does not taste like a delivery pizza. It tastes like a damn good frozen, frozen pizza. pizza that has, you know, high quality ingredients. It's five servings, 320, so three, six, nine, 12, 1500 calories for the whole thing. Truthfully, I know I could probably polish off half this if I want to, but with a little restraint, <laughs> I can eat two and be plenty happy. That's good. That's good. I mean, you know, and to me, this is, doesn't just taste like a celebrity slapped their name on it. Like, it does seem like... She made sure it was, it was good. Yeah, someone put some effort to make sure that it stands out a little bit. I do got to take one more bite with some hot sauce. I'm going to go with the bacon sriracha. Oh, she's... Nice big ol'. Mmm. If you like hot sauce, and you like pizza, and you've never mixed the two... You sure. have been missing out on life. It's fantastic. Oh, that's so good. Oh, Louisiana. Mm. What are we going to give Oprah? Because I know Oprah's waiting for our approval. 4.8 out of 5. 4.8 out of 5. It's good. It's, it tastes like a really good yeah. piece of pizza. I, I gave it just a it's little bit It's a little expensive. Less. Yeah, it is kind it's, of expensive. It, was at least eight... at Publix it was. It might be cheaper elsewhere. Yeah, this is an $8 pizza, which is kind of expensive. But um, I'm th I think... You can get it for cheaper at other places. I think I saw six ninety nine. That's the thing is, frozen pizzas are just that expensive now, especially when they're either organic or yeah. you know a cauliflower mix. A cauliflower pizza, this big, with just a pure cauliflower crust, is like nine dollars at like the health food store. Yeah. So it's a compromise. <laughs> it's a little healthy, 
a little more expensive, but super tasty. So you don't lose the comfort food aspect is what I think was important to her. So yeah, I'll go with the 4.8 and the point two, I mean, again, this is a frozen pizza. You know, if you get this and you go, this tastes nothing like the pizzeria I had at P in New York. It's like, well, no. Yeah. What it is, I think it's really good. And if you like Oprah, probably gonna like this. <laughs> so that's what we think. Let's know what you think. Have you seen this? Have you had any of her other food? Have you, I was gonna say eaten Oprah. Uh -uh. Not appropriate. I do apologize. I could have kept it myself. Let's see by, okay. So that's what we think guys. Let us know what you think. Do you want to see us do more like um, grocery store type reviews like this too? Because this is fun. I mean this is interesting and it's brand new. We're like hey. It gives us an excuse to try something we normally. We can jump on not. Oprah's coattails too. <laughs> Everyone else does, why not us? Anyway guys, that's what we think. Let us know what you think. Put your comments in the word format below and we can communicate because that's how it works. You can also support and follow us on Patreon and these things here. And that way you can be up to date on everything Whitfield's Food Review is up to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And until next time.